Okay, so here's just a couple more graphing problems. So, again, more than anything, just trying to remind you about basic graphs and also about graph shifts. So, recall that the function 1 over x, the graph of 1 over x looks something like that. And again, you can always plot points if you forget these graphs. So. Instead of just 1 over x, we have 1 over x plus 2. So we've replaced the x with x plus 2. Again, all that's going to do is just shift the graph of 1 over x to the left two units. So instead of having a vertical asymptote at, sitting at the y-axis, it'll now be sitting at x equals 2. And again, that makes sense, right? I mean, if you plug in 2, or excuse me, at x equals negative 2, if you plug in negative 2, it's going to be undefined. And then we'll still just have that same basic shape. And recall that this function also has a horizontal asymptote of the x-axis. You could even plot an extra point. If you plug in x equals 0, that would be the point 1 half. So there's the point 0 comma 1 half. And again, that's just a rough little sketch of 1 over x plus 2. So okay, we've almost got the same thing here. We've got negative 1 over x minus 2 squared. Well, recall that 1 over x squared looks like this. And that makes sense, right? Because no matter what you plug in for x, with the exception of x equals 0, which would make it undefined, any other value, you're going to get a positive number. So it's going to stay strictly above the x-axis. Well, a couple things here. If we graph 1 over x minus 2 quantity squared, the minus 2 is going to shift the graph to the right 2 units. But then we have this negative in the numerator. And again, that's going to reflect the graph. It's going to flip it. So that's going to reflect it about the um, x-axis. Right, because all of those values that were previously positive are now going to be negative. So I think we can do this all in one fell swoop. So we'll move it to the right two units. So there's the vertical asymptote of x equals 2, y-axis, x-axis. And now it's just going to be sitting underneath the x-axis. And again, we still have that vertical asymptote. So let's see, if we plug in x equals 0, we would have, um, I guess we would get negative 1 fourth. So that would be the point 0 comma negative 1 fourth. And again, that would be the graph of negative 1 over x minus 2 quantity squared.